Homelink 1-9, comparing volumes. Today, you learned two different formulas to find the volume of rectangular prisms. Before, we counted all of the squares, you counted the cubes inside, you counted the first layer, and then how many went up. But then today, we learned that volume equals length times width times height, or volume equals area of base times height. Use the formulas to find the volume of each prism. Be sure to include a unit. Cross out the prism in each set that has a volume different than the other prisms. So our first one, I have three different units. So I'm gonna use that first formula, volume equals length times width times height. So my length is two, my width is two, and my height is 10. So two times two is four, 4 times 10 is 40. So my volume is 40. I'm going to say centimeters cubed. And why I say cubed is, is I have units times units times units. So units, units, units. I have three units. There it is. My next one, I only have the two. So do I have length times width times height? No. I have base. This is my base. And my height. So 8 times 5. 8 times 5 is 40. Again, I'm going to say centimeters cubed. Why? Unit squared times a unit is a unit to the third power. You do the last one. You have length, width, and height. Decide if you're going to use the first formula or the second formula. And then remember to cross out the prism in each set that has a volume that is different. So here we have 40, here we have 40. They are the same. Your next set, you have length, width, height. So 2 times 2 times 4. 2 times 2 is 4. 4 times 4 is 16 centimeters cubed. Now you have base times height. So 9 times 2 equals 18 centimeters cubed. Do the last one. Again, you have length, width, and height. And then cross out the one that is different. At the bottom, it says find the area of each rectangle. We know we can multiply 4 and 1 half times 2, but if we're not good with multiplying our fractions, we can add our whole. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Again, 2 times 2. 4 is 8, so I have 8 holes, and how many halves do I have? 2 halves. So you see my denominator, my bottom number stays the same, and I put however many halves I have. So here are my halves. I'm going to color them in orange. 1 half, 2 half. So I put that 2 over. Now, if you know how to reduce fractions, you know that 2 over 2 equals 1, so 8 plus 1 is 9 centimeters squared. Try 4 on your own.